Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back for the ABCs of Horror Challenge with my review of Monsterd. The ABCs of Horror is a challenge in which we go from A to Z. With each letter of the alphabet, we choose a horror movie that begins with that letter. Watch it and review it. I've arrived at the letter M, and M is for Monsterd. I had trouble deciding between a classic horror film praised by historians with a high score on IMDb and a cheesy horror comedy. Clearly, I went with the highly praised classic. I'm kidding, of course. I went with the Cheese Fest. Monstered is a 2003 horror comedy, and this here is the insanely rare VHS release. On this cover, as you can see, the Monstered is coming out of the sewer. I also have this DVD release, and on this one, he's coming out of the toilet. And here's the VHS and DVD side by side, because physical media matters. But I guess in this case, physical media splatters. As I'm sure you can imagine, there are plenty of puns like that throughout the movie. It's, not surprisingly, filled with toilet humor. If you go into this taking it too seriously, well, you're doing it all wrong. Monsterd is set in Butte County. That's right, like Butt County, with an E. Serial killer Jack Schmidt escapes from prison. It's no coincidence that Jack Schmidt rhymes with Jack Sh... Well, you know what it rhymes with. He evades police as the Butte County Sheriff's Department, along with the FBI set out on a manhunt for the killer. Meanwhile, a scientist from a local corporation has been dumping the remnants from his experiments into the sewer. While running from the cops, Jack Schmidt hides in an underground tunnel, which leads to the Butte County sewer system. He's eventually cornered by police, shot in the chest, and falls down a sewer pipe. He lands in the experimental chemicals, and his body disintegrates. Jack Schmidt's flesh literally melts off his bones. That's not the end of the serial killer, though. When the toxins in his body mix with the sewage waste, Jack Schmidt is somehow resurrected as the monsterd. Now, he has the ability to enter people's homes through their toilets. He drags them down into his sewer lair and kills them. One by one, citizens of Butte County disappear. When the sheriff and the female FBI agent who originally caught Jack Schmidt realize what they're dealing with, they have to warn the town. The people of Butte County are told not to use their toilets, and the sheriff attempts to cancel the annual Chili Cook-Off Festival. Of course, no one believes them that there's a monstrous turd roaming the sewers. And so, the Chili Cook-Off Festival commences as usual. And you know what that means. Put a B in front of the letter I'm currently on in the ABCs of horror. As the cops continue to pursue the creature with the assistance of another scientist, the scientist who created the monster tries to protect him. I gotta say, the methods in which they attempt to stop him are hilarious yet brilliant. They buy out all the toilet paper they can find. They fill super soakers with Pepto-Bismol. They hope to lure the monster out into the sunlight to dry him out. 
and waiting for him, should that happen, are a million flies to eat him. I mean, it's funny, right? But it makes sense. And that's what probably impressed me most about Monsterd. It actually works. I was debating whether or not to tell you how it works, and ultimately decided I won't because I don't want to spoil everything. But immediately, when the movie begins, you'll know why the story works. And that's all I'll say. Monsterd is absurd, but they somehow make it realistic. As much as they could, I guess. You'll understand if you watch it. The monster effects are so much fun, and Monsterd is kind of awesome. It's another example of a movie that is probably better than it should be. It's self-aware, it knows what it is, and it accomplishes what it sets out to do. Entertain. That's all we can really ask, and all we really should ask, of a film like this. If you're expecting anything other than that, that's on you. Obviously, Monsterd is very funny at times. There's a scene with one of the victims watching a cartoon that is clearly a ripoff of South Park. The winter hat-wearing cartoon characters are talking about Mr. Spanky. He comes not every Christmas, but every Easter. Again, I find that clever. Then there's a pretty spectacular line when a cop tells a waitress at the diner she should sit on his face and make it look like a glazed donut. I laughed and was impressed at the same time because it worked. Anytime, she told him. I love how the monster leaves messages on the bathroom walls after he takes a victim. One of the messages says, Don't get caught with your pants down. By the way, they're not written in human blood. They're written in human... feces. I mean, that's much more logical, don't you think? Monstered was just an overall great time. There are much worse ways to kill 81 minutes. And you know, let me say this. I'm sure most others would review this movie negatively. You'd probably hear them use stupid puns like Monster is a crap movie and this film stinks. I can assure you they would only be doing that for the views and cheap laughs because Monster is not actually a turd. It's hard to imagine someone who would choose to watch this with this title, and this cover, and the synopsis, and then turn around and trash the film. If you're checking this out, you absolutely know what you're getting yourself into. I had a blast with it. I'm glad I decided that M is for Monstered in the ABCs of Horror. As always, please be sure to support everyone else participating in the challenge. I'm halfway through the alphabet, but if you'd like to join in, feel free. Start from A. This challenge is meant to be fun and done at our own pace. Maybe next time I'll watch and review that classic horror movie beginning with M, when I make my way through the ABCs of horror again. But for now, have you seen Monsterd? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Which horror movie beginning with N will I review for the ABCs of horror? Check back soon to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>